if I could quickly follow up, I, the U.S. and Australia and others have all these programs through the Quad and IPEF and bilateral, multilateral, strictly for the green energy transition. But are you saying that's insufficient or it's not working or? It's not working. I mean, let's. Why, why is that? We can be a realist here, right? I mean, the JEP was yeah. announced in November 2022. And, and we all know that as of today, almost two years thereafter, there's not a whole lot of granularity so on, just, the, on, sorry, on the implementation. Just for, just for those of us who, you know, when it comes to economics or sort of babes in the woods, the Jet P? The, the Jet P was basically a plan that was agreed upon by the United States and Indonesia, announced in November 2022 at the G20 meeting in Bali for $20 billion by way of assistance from the U.S. government, not sure if it would involve entrepreneurs, the 20 billions would be deployed for purposes of decarbonizing the pre-existing coal-fired power generation capabilities in Indonesia, right? I, I mentioned the number for Indonesia as to build new power generation capabilities so that we can become modern. We can go up from electrification on a per capita basis of 1,300 kilowatt hour per capita to 6,000. Indonesia itself will need about a trillion dollars. So 20 billion is a drop in the ocean, right? So if, if the initiative to deploy $20 billion doesn't seem to be moving much, almost two years after it was announced, I think that needs to be game changed, right? Uh, so there, there needs to be realism with respect to a number of things. Number one, how much is really needed for countries like Indonesia to go green? Number two, what does it take to implement, right? What does it take to deploy the technological capital? What does it take to deploy the economic capital? Uh, I mean, th there's fiduciary responsibilities, right, for the beneficiary. But I, I, I think there needs to be a lot more discussions about what Indonesia needs to be doing so that it can be a beneficiary of that technological capital and economic capital deployment, you know, on a much more real time basis. And, and unfortunately, it's, it's just going in circles, in my view.